Wagwan guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing some fried dumpling aka the Jani cake. So let's get right into the video. Here we have some salt. So we have our all-purpose flour already safe and ready. And now we're going to be adding some baking powder. And now we'll add some sugar. So we're using the granulated sugar guys. And here we're gonna make sure we lock all those in our dry ingredients and now we're gonna go in with our butter so we're gonna make sure we blend the butter in you know we're looking for that texture that amazing flaky texture yes guys so this is Pals Island Kitchen style of doing her fried dumpling. So yes guys, now we're going to be adding some water to get our dough together. you know Sunday morning when grandma get up and say yes breakfast time so we get in some fried dumpling we get it with salt mackerel as I gave you guys before the link for that will be in the description box below and you know you get a fried dumpling with some chocolate tea you get fried dumpling alone fried dumpling with some callaloo and salt fish yes guys old time same thing come back again so, if you remember this phrase, you know, please just drop it down in the comment section and you can tell me the kind of um, food you would like to see me prepare. So guys, yes, this is how I do my dough for my dumpling, those golden crispy look. So here I'm getting the dough together and, you know, I'm just gonna roll it into a ball and then i'm gonna put it down to like sweat for an half an hour to an hour and then i start to fry my dumplings So yes guys now we're gonna put it into the ball that we're looking for you know when you do your dough you just roll it in a ball to get it ready for what you're going to do with it so yes so this is how I do my dough so now we're gonna get our clear up and we're gonna cover this and as I said before, for 45 minutes or to an hour. Or you can do it from overnight if you like. Some people just need. So here we go, guys. Our oil is already hot. So the stove is on medium, not too high, not too low, right between. So you're going to go in. So I've already put one there already in the pot. So I'm going to go ahead again, step by step with you guys and show you how simple and easy to make those nice beautiful dough so there you go guys you take your time you see all those crispy nice golden looking dumpling hey <laughs> can't tell you say that man my belly are rolling and you say yummy yummy to my tummy Ugh girl love our food she love our food so welcome to pals island kitchen where we do all the authentic jamaican dishes some nice nice old time food you know sunday morning breakfast sunday morning special so guys you get your dough you rub it you make sure you knead it in and then you roll like a ball it in your hands roll like a ball and there's that's where you get that nice beautiful round amazing shape for your dumpling 
you know, aka the Johnny Cake. Yes. Here we are guys, you see those dumplings, they're looking so nice, oh I could eat two right now. Mm, look at that. So guys we're almost ready you know I'm just adding two more because I think I just have enough dough for two so I'm gonna add those in and then we're gonna make sure we monitor these dumplings because we don't want them to burn we just need that looking for that golden crispy look and make sure it's well fried and nice And then I'm gonna do another version of our fried dumpling, but in a different style. You know, the flat ones? Yes. Okay, guys, I'm finished with my dough, so I'm putting away now i'm cleaning up my stove you know wash hands and now yes dumpling them are come on good look at that wow just a wow mm. wow so guys this is how i do my jenny cake this is our Johnny cake aka fried dumpling look at perfection guys look at that oh so thank you guys so much for taking me to 700 subscribers thank you so much i really appreciate it to my new subscribers welcome to pals island kitchen to my old subscribers Thank you guys very much. Please remember to live good, love God, and walk good, and we'll see you in the next time.